Hey guys, this is the first time I ever posted two videos on the same day, but I gotta get on that Apple credit card gravy train. As you all already may know by now, Apple introduced their new Apple card at a keynote address in California. So in this video, I'll show you what this credit card is all about and also why you maybe should not get it. Hey guys, my name is Rami and welcome to Points Pointers. My goal for this channel is to help you earn and redeem as many points as possible to upgrade your travels for little to no money. So if you're interested in travel hacking and award travel, then please consider subscribing. You can also download my free 10 step travel hacking guide in the description below. Okay, so the Apple credit card was announced today, but it won't be available until summer of 2019. No exact date was set yet. I'm not sure if I'll apply for this card or not, especially that I'm working on being under 524 next month and I will be focusing on Chase credit cards. So we'll see what happens and the timing of when they release it. According to Apple, this will be an innovative new kind of credit card that's created and designed to help customers lead a healthier financial life. The Apple Card will be built into the Apple Wallet app on iPhone, offering a familiar experience with Apple Pay and the ability to manage the card right on the phone. This is a really new experience where you'll actually be able to apply for the card right on your phone, and if approved, the card will appear instantly in your wallet app and ready for use. This is pretty cool. Obviously, this means that you'll only be able to use the card at retailers that take Apple Pay, or on websites that offer Apple Pay as a payment option. Now, if you want to use the Apple Card at locations where they don't accept Apple Pay, they'll also send you this beautiful looking titanium card. The card will have no card number, CVV security code, expiration date, or signature, and Apple says that the card is more secure than any other physical credit card out there. According to Apple, you'll get a unique card number that is created on iPhone for Apple Card and stored safely in the device's secure element. A special security chip used by Apple Pay. Every purchase is secure because it is authorized with Face ID or Touch ID and a one-time unique dynamic security code. The unique security and privacy architecture created for Apple Card means that Apple does not know where a customer shopped what they bought or how much they paid. Oh, and by the way, this new card from Apple is offered in partnership with Goldman Sachs as previously reported, and it will be a MasterCard. The Apple Cards app looks like it will offer some in-depth information about every purchase you make right at your fingertips. Apple Card uses machine learning and Apple Maps to clearly label transactions with merchant names and locations. So if you don't remember a certain transaction, you can click on it and it will show you the exact location the transaction was made on Apple Maps. That's a pretty cool feature. Also, purchases are automatically totaled and organized by color-coded categories such as food and drinks, shopping and entertainment, and you'll be able to sort through weekly or monthly spending summaries to really track your spending habits. Now let's get into the cashback multipliers offered by the Apple credit card. So the highest percentage will be on Apple products at 3% cashback. This will be on products like the MacBooks, laptops, you know, iPads, all these physical products. Also on Apple Store, App Store, and Apple services. Next, you'll receive 2% cashback on all purchases made with Apple Pay. This is on par with some cashback cards like the City Double Cash, but the City Double Cash earns 2% on everything without the need of using Apple Pay, obviously, or anything like that. So this can be limiting since Apple Pay is not accepted everywhere yet. And finally, you'll earn 1% back on everything else when you use the physical titanium card. So as you can see, the benefits are not that revolutionary. One thing I'm still not sure about is how can you use the Apple credit card when making an online purchase on a website that doesn't support Apple Pay. Will I be able to generate a number, CVV code, and expiration on my phone or something? I guess we'll find out when the card is released. If you know the answer to that, please let me know in the comments below. Now, what's sort of new about this card is that the cashback posts to your account daily. You don't have to wait till your statement closes in a month to receive your rewards. 
every day your cash back will be deposited in that Apple cash card that you can find in your Apple wallet. And you can use that Apple cash card to pay with Apple Pay. So that's kind of a cool benefit where you get your rewards every day. In terms of fees, the Apple card will have no fees at all. No annual fees, no foreign transaction fees, and no over the limit fees among others. They say that their goal is to have customers live a better financial life and encourage them to pay less in interest. They have a feature that's sort of the circle like in the health app where when you slide it to choose how much you'll pay out of your balance, it will show you how much interest you'll pay. So I guess it will somehow psychologically help people visualize the disadvantages of paying interest better and help them make a better decision and pay their balances in full or at least pay as much as they can every month. As always here on the channel, I urge you to never pay credit card interest and always pay your bills in full and on time every month. This way you can really enjoy the rewards. Otherwise, there's no point in getting a rewards credit card because the interest rates will always outweigh the benefits you get out of the points or cash back you earn. And obviously paying in full and on time will help your credit score. So what do I make of this new Apple credit card? I personally don't think this card is very useful for those of us who are travel and credit card hackers, if you will. I'd much rather earn points that I can transfer to airlines and hotels or earn airline miles that I can potentially use for outsized value like business and first class flights where I normally wouldn't be able to purchase them with my own money. Cashback is a fixed value and the cashback returns on the Apple card are only 2% which is not that bad, but also limited to Apple Pay. The 3% category on Apple products is not useful for me since I don't buy Apple products like every day. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this new Apple credit card and if it's a card that you'll be looking to get when it comes out this summer. Thank you guys for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. And if this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe because every week I'm publishing videos that will help you earn a ton of credit card points and frequent flyer miles that will enable you to travel the world for little to no money.